Dave, congratulations. How does that feel today? Yeah, um, big relief. Um, more happy for the players, really, to get, yeah. get our first three points and, 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 and get what we've deserved, because I don't think we've got that in, in, in other games. Um, so off the mark now, we need to build on it. Struggled a little bit in the first half, but second half, I mean, you created so many chances, you could have won two or three games in that second half. What did you say at half-time? What changed? Um, yeah, listen, I think first half, um, listen, we've had two 1v1s. Um, we've had another nailed on penalty, not given, which would result in a red card, whether they didn't give that for, and that was the reason, not too sure. Um, but I said to the players at half-time, I felt, for whatever reason, and, and I, 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 no, I can't understand the reasons, to be honest. I, I felt we played a little bit safe and a little bit scared. Um, and I challenged them with that. Because it's pointless us having players on the pitch in certain areas um, if they're not going to back their ability to be able to play. So, again, I will name names. It's pointless me having two centre-halves, Noel and, and Torre, if they're not going to use their ability and possession to create anything. It's pointless me having Rydell and uh, Macker at wing-backs if they're not going to create anything. Um, it's pointless me having forwards that um, will score goals from the penalty area if they're not going to get in the penalty area. I may as well go and get a team full of giants, get the goalkeeper who can whack it from one end to the other to whack it from one end to the other, get a massive centre forward and play, play, play no risk. Otherwise, we're doing ourselves no justice and the players that I've got out there aren't helping the team in any way, shape or form. So you have to play with a, a confidence not an arrogance by any stretch, but if you don't play to what your strengths are, then, then and you don't believe in that, then how can we as a management team believe in that? Um, and that was the that was the question to him. I think, like I said, they re responded in the right way. They were better set, better second off, but you can still tell there's an edginess around around scoring. Um, we need to unfinish teams off. We, we get that, <coughs> um, but hopefully that will have done them the world of. You felt you should have had a penalty for the foul on on Louis Barry. Yeah, definitely. Um, you can look at it, listen, I've watched it back, it's, it's, the referee has apparently said there's contact, but not enough contact, it's, it's a clear push in the back. He's not making an attempt to play the ball, he would have to send him off. <clears throat> there's absolutely no need for Louis to go down when you're bearing down on the goalkeeper from there. Um, so yeah, that, and again, another, I suppose another frustration, but thankfully we've got ourselves a, a goal. We've got a little bit of luck from a, from a deflection um, and gets us, a, a, like I say, a really, really important and, and, and welcome three points. On the flip side, Pete Wilde wasn't too happy with the challenge on Courtney Duffus, the, the, the high boot. W would you have seen that potentially as a red card? Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't, I've not seen it. And uh, listen, I hope Courtney's OK. He was obviously he, he was, he's a brilliant lad. It was great with us. I don't, we were just chatting. We were watching the, the Chesterfield game before the game and... He had um, what we thought was the making of him in terms of that game, and then 48 hours later, done his cruciate. So it's been a tough, a tough journey back for him, um, <coughs> and obviously has picked up a, a nasty, a nasty injury. I, I absolutely gutted. Uh, yeah, I would have. I, how could you have complaints if that was a red card? I, I would be asking the same question if the flip side had happened to to me, and I'm not one to, or is of the opinion that um, the nature of the card is dependent on what the result of the injury is um, but if you have got your foot up that high and it catches somebody then I don't think you'd have any complaints so I'm totally with him on that on that argument. Louis Barry got the goal today tell us a little bit about him about the qualities that he brings and about um, his role in that performance today. Yeah a little bit different we, we thought today that we'd spend a lot of time with the ball um, so we went in a like I say a, a little bit a little bit of a a different way of playing in terms of where we wanted to try and find people and I'll be honest it was a little bit disorganised and whether that worked the best I'm not, I'm not too sure. We wanted to try and isolate him in the the right or right hand side channel to start with. We thought that their, their wing back Tienza would jump, that potentially would leave him 1v1 with Canavan. We didn't do that well enough so we moved him to his normal side if you like um, but he's a threat when the game's open. We just need him to do his, I think, the the easy thing to do when you're encouraged to get on the ball is to drop too deep. And he was dropping too deep in terms of picking up the ball with eight players in front of him. It, this isn't under 12 football, this is League Two football. You don't want to beat eight players and then um, score a goal as much as we'd all love that to be the, to be the case. So we need to get him higher up and make sure that those dribbles are affecting the game. Whether that be defenders being a little bit panicky in terms of being in their own penalty area or whether one movement from him results in getting a, getting a shot away. Um, he's deserved this goal um, I said to him before the game him, I said the same to Will 
there was any chance of them getting one for us. Um, so we obviously need to get people, get people. Johnny's different. He gets people off the seats. Yeah. He's a threat for us. Even when, like I said, the, the game's stretched there, he'll get, he'll get the pit the ball up in, in areas of, of open play um, when he has grass to run into, and that's when he's at his best. You've got, you had seven injuries, I think, before today's game. So it's every credit you've got a clean sheet and a win today, given the the, the, the backdrop. And it looks as if you picked up another one today with Maka with the shoulder. Is he, is he okay? It looks, yeah, it looks a similar one to, to what Campsy was. The only, I suppose, the only positive is that Maka's not had shoulder injuries before. Um, so precautionary, we'll get him scanned on, on Monday. Um, but he's obviously, as you would expect, he's landing right, right in his AC joint and he'll struggle to, to, to move, um, move that shoulder. You hope it's not significant. Fingers crossed it's not. Um, but if it is, listen, you have to deal with it. I suppose the one, the only positive that you'd say to come out of it is that the transfer window's still open. We've yeah. got another week and a bit left of left of that. But we'll, like I say, we'll we'll find out more on Monday in terms of where that's at. And listen, you've got to get on with it. These are things that either make you better and improve you in terms of in terms of injuries, suspensions, loss of foot, whatever it might be. The adversity will make you better. So you've got to you've got to crack on. You've got this game now on, on Tuesday against Manchester United's under 21s. I'm guessing you're going to make significant numbers of changes because players do need to rest even at this stage, don't they? Yeah, yeah, with the, well, I suppose, the, the turnaround. With the, and we are, we are low, if you like, on numbers. As a consequence, there'll be some that played today that will play on Tuesday. Um, we don't really have much choice around that in terms of how the rules look with a certain amount of so-called first team players you can play. Um, <clears throat> the one positive we do have is that, again, with that as a, um, as a, a point of factor on the competition, Billy Chadwick can play for us, um, strangely enough, which we will absolutely take advantage of. So he's obviously been away at, uh, at Gateshead getting not as many minutes as he would like than we would like that injury, probably a week before the start of the season, setting back a little bit. Um, but he'll be involved with us on, on Tuesday, um, which will be good for, like I say, good for everybody, good for him to come back into the, the, the building and train with us and good for us to, us to have, a, have a look at him and him get minutes or significant minutes into his, into his legs. Hopefully then he goes back to uh, Gateshead, they have a Saturday, Monday, follow next weekend in terms of the bank holiday um, and he gets, gets involved there and can get his season started. Look forward to seeing him. Great stuff. Well done today. Cheers, John. Thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. Thank you.